A concerned parent contacted us about her child's daycare, saying she's worried that a former employee may have been under the influence of meth on the job. She and other parents with children at Totspot were sent this letter from Trail County Social Services. It described an investigation into former employee Briley Spildy, where she admitted to being under the influence of meth while providing care for her child, as well as exposing her child to usage in her home. It mentions nothing while on the job in Hillsborough, where, Sp where Spildy worked for two years. The executive director of Totspot in Fargo, Jenna Schultz, says that Spildy was given a chance to transfer here when Hillsborough closed, but only worked on and off over a month and a half period. Schultz also said that at no time did Spildy show signs of being under the influence on the job. Spildy, who has not been charged, was let go by Totspot on Friday. There's some uncertainty surrounding the first ever Veteran Affairs National Cemetery in North Dakota. It was originally scheduled to open in Fargo in 2018, but its openings have been pushed back to September of 2019. Veteran Terry Richardson, who's the commander of the United Patriotic Bodies for this area, says the delay disappoints him. I've actually been at uh, four military funerals, and, and they've been cremations, and because of that, they all said in their uh, brochures that they're going to be buried at the cemetery. Well, now we just extended it another year, you know, and so that makes a difference to our veterans. Right now, the only other veteran cemetery in North Dakota is the state-run one in Mandan. A mistake by a government agency may have allowed the suspect in the deadly church shooting in Texas to buy weapons. We'll have details later on Valley News Live at 10. Frigid temperatures pooling just to the northwest of our area. They're heading our way. I'll have details on how low we go and when you'll see the next chance of snow.